Amazon Fire Stick is one of the best streaming stick out there. They're cheap, works with all popular services such as Prime Video, Netflix, YouTube, etc. And most of all, they are based on Android TV. So the possibility of apps are limitless. And like we always say at TechWiser, if you're using something frequently, then make sure you use it effectively. On that note, this is Minam from TechWiser.com and here are some of the fresh Fire TV tips and tricks along with common problems solved. Of course, we won't be getting into those grey area for what Fire Stick is known for. And before we begin, a quick shout out to EarthCam TV for sponsoring this video. EarthCam TV is a Fire Stick app that lets you live stream webcam content from all around the world, such as beaches, mountains, aquarium, cities, island, and much more. Personally, I like the idea of being able to tune into my favorite beaches in the background while I'm chilling at home. The app is free on Amazon App Store and to watch any camera anytime ad free, you can get an annual in S subscription for $5. So go ahead and check it out. First link in the description below. With that said, of course, if you want to stay wiser, make sure you subscribe to TechWiser. And let's begin now. Okay, so the first one is for new users who have recently bought a Fire Stick. Now, although Fire Stick runs a customized version of Android TV, there's no official Google Play Store on it. Yes, the only option to install application on Fire Stick is through the native Amazon App Store which is good, but the catalog isn't as big as the Android TV optimized apps. Thankfully, the solution is also simple. You can easily sideload Android apps on your Fire Stick. Now, there are dozens of ways of doing it, but in this video, I will share the three most popular and safest way that I personally use. So you can sideload apps directly from Android or from computer itself. Let's check them out. To get started, first head over to your Fire TV homepage and then navigate all the way to settings tab. Now go to devices, then developer option and under apps from unknown sources, turn it on. Also, while you're at it, enable the USB debugging as well. This will allow you to remotely install apps on your Fire Stick, just like you do on your Android smartphone. So the first way is to sideload apps directly on your Fire Stick. For this, we will need to use the downloader app, which is available on Amazon App Store. So simply download the app, open it, and then you can search for applications from the browse section. Now, what differentiates Downloader from all the regular browser is that Downloader app is a specialized browser that automatically fetch the APK and begins the installation process. Next up, if you have an APK installed on your Android smartphone that you would like to install on your Fire Stick, then Apps to Fire is the best option out there. Once connected, it will give you a list of all the Android apps installed on your phone. One tap and it will be sent to your Fire Stick and not just that, it will automatically install the application as well. And finally, if you have APK on your computer, then you can also use this application called Send Files to TV. Simply install the application on both Fire Stick as well as computer, and then you can send the APK directly from computer to Fire Stick connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Once you receive the APK, you just have to install it using any file manager of your choice. Okay, Wonder Woman 1984 is finally going to release digitally this Christmas on HBO Max, which unfortunately isn't available in India. So how do I watch this geo-restricted content while also supporting my creators? Well, one workaround is to use a VPN. Yes, VPN also works on Fire Stick and they work pretty well too. The only caveat is you will have to get a paid VPN. Those are more trustworthy and they work on geo-restricted websites. Now, there are a lot of paid VPN to choose from like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, Surfshark, etc, etc. We use all of them regularly and they work quite well. But if I have to recommend a paid VPN to you, it will be Surfshark. It has the quality of all the mainstream VPN, such as it's available on all popular platforms, including Fire Stick, has a lot of servers and works well with geo-restricted content such as Netflix and HBO Max. Simply switch the country to US, go back to the application and enable it. And there you go. But the biggest reason to recommend Surfshark is the price. Since it's relatively new, it's way cheaper than the established players. Either way, we maintain a thorough list of all the best free and paid VPNs at TechWiser. So check it out. Links in the description below.
Next up, another major problem that I face on Fire Stick is that typing on Fire Stick with the Alexa remote is just painfully hard. One solution is to use a Fire Stick remote which is available for apps like Android and iOS. It will connect to your Fire Stick under the same Wi-Fi network and then you can use the remote app to navigate around or even type your username and password etc. And not to forget, this also comes in handy when you lose your Fastic remote. But if you have ever used them extensively, you will notice there's just too much lag in it. When I'm typing email addresses, I often have to type the entire email address again. A better way is to use one of these cheap mini wireless keyboards available on Amazon. What I like about this is that you not only get a fully fledged keyboard, but there's a mouse simulator as well, which comes in handy when you are using some advanced apps like mouse toggle or navigating in Google search. Also, if you have an Echo Dot, which I recommend you should, then you can control pretty much all aspect of Fire Stick hands-free. Like you can Alexa. open Netflix, pause it, play it, and my favorite, skipping those Skillshare intros on YouTube without having to pick up the remote. Now, if you want to watch TV late night without disturbing people around you, you might already know Fastic has Bluetooth, so you can easily pair your TWS or headphones with it. Simply go to the Bluetooth section on your Fastic setting and then put your TWS on pairing mode. It will automatically show up on Fastic and you can use it from there. But only when you start using them, you will notice a major issue. Most TWS don't have volume control on them like OnePlus, Realme or even AirPods. And for some reason, Fastic Remote also doesn't let you control the TWS volume. Well, to fix this problem, you can use a third-party Android app. Simply install the Precise Volume app by sideloading the APK. Once done, open the app and just adjust the volume slider to your liking. And the volume will also change on your TWS. As you can see, Air Mouse Remote really comes in handy in situation like this. Otherwise, you will have to use an extra application such as Mouse Toggle to hover your mouse over the slider. Now, this might not be a problem for most of you, but it's for me. So, as you might already know, you can cast your Android and Windows screen on your Fire Stick. Simply press the home button on your Alexa remote to bring up the screen mirroring. Then on your Android, you can press the cast button to cast the screen on your Fire Stick. Of course, you will need both of them under the same Wi-Fi network. Similarly, on Windows, you can use the Miracast app to cast the screen to Fire Stick. But I have an iPhone and Mac and there's no option for me to cast them on Fire Stick. So I use this application called AirPin Pro for Mac and iOS. Once you turn on the application, it creates an AirPlay server and I see the option to cast my MacBook screen. It also works similarly on iPhone as well. And to my surprise, there are no ads or even lag. Quite useful. Next up, sometimes when we are traveling, we want to use a Fire Stick with old TV or even a monitor that doesn't have an HDMI port. But Fire Stick, on the other hand, only works with HDMI out. Well, in that case, you can also use converters with your Fire Stick. You can buy cheap HDMI to VGA converters or even HDMI to DVI converter and use it with your Fire Stick. We tried it and it worked flawlessly. And not just that, Fire Stick works with a lot of other devices. For example, you can connect an USB OTG cable with your Fire Stick to add additional storage or even use it to add mouse or keyboard. And not just that, you can also use a USB to Ethernet adapter to connect a LAN cable to your Fire Stick. And then there is this HDMI splitter which basically spits one Fire Stick signal into two TV. All that's kind of pointless since same show will be telecasted to two different TV at the same time. See, my point is there are a lot of accessories you can connect with your Fire Stick and most people don't know about it. I will add a detailed video in the description. If you have used Fire Stick for more than a year, you will realize how slow it gets over time. Of course, I was expecting Amazon to bump up the storage to at least 16 gigs in the newer model, but even the new ones only come with 8 gigs of storage. Well, Fortunately, there are a few things that you can do to make your Fire Stick faster. First thing is to make sure that you power on your Fire Stick with the wall adapter rather than your TV, which only has 0.5 ampere, while the Fire Stick needs at least 1 ampere to function properly. Next, you can stop some unnecessary services on your Fire Stick. For example, you can disable the video and sound autoplay. 
You can also disable the new services and finally turn off the data collection. In case your Fire Stick is running slow because you have too many apps installed, then instead of uninstalling all of the applications which you might need later, you can use this application called Background Apps and Process List to find out all the applications that are currently running on Fire Stick and then close them all. So that's how you make most out of your Fire Stick. This was a quick description, but I will leave the link to detailed videos as well as article in the description of this video. So yeah, make sure to check the description as well. As always, this is Manal signing off. Do let me know which is your favorite tips, tricks and hacks in the comment section below. I'm sure there are plenty of them, especially for Fire Stick. As always, Manal signing off. Catch you guys later.